everyone, welcome back. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Tammy, welcome. Please stick around and at the end of this video, please like and also comment down below what you liked about the content of this video. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe and also turn on the bell notification in the bottom there so that you'll be notified when I post new videos. So I finally received my packages from Juvia's Place. I made two orders because the setting powder didn't come out till June 2nd. And I know you've already seen a lot of videos on the new I Am Magic Foundation concealer and now setting powder as well as their foundation brush. And I'm gonna be trying them, doing a demo of all the products that I got today. I already actually did a seven hour wear test on it. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you what my seven hour wear result was. Okay, so I ordered the concealer and the foundation and the Nubian Coral Palette. I ordered all of those three items on May 30th and I received it on June 5th, which is a total of six days. I had to wait to order the setting powder as well as the brush because the brush was out of stock. I ordered it June 2nd, I think that was the day that it was available back in stock as well as the setting powder and I received it June 12th, if I'm correct. No, June 14th. So that's a total of 12 days and a total of about 18 days counting from May 30th. The day I did my wear test was on a Sunday, which was actually Father's Day and I wore it to church. I'm in the choir. For me, I chose the opportunity to wear it on the day that I'm singing and doing a lot of moving around. And I wore it for seven hours from 6 a.m. to one, about 1.30-ish p.m. in the afternoon. And I didn't get a chance to take a before picture because it was 6 a.m., we were rushing to church, and it was two services, by the way. So I think I gave it a really good wear test, and I think it still turned out decent at the end of the day. I did not do any touch-ups. I didn't even have the time to do any touch-ups anyways. Another thing is that Juvia's Place Eye Magic Foundation came out. When it came out, a lot of people had a lot of videos already uploaded on YouTube, but I was actually trying to my best to find my shade by by watching other YouTubers that I thought were gonna be in my shade range, but most of them are either too dark or too light. Now, what I did was I went to the website when they finally uploaded their shade finder. I know that my undertone is slightly olive, cool tone, and when I did the shade finder test thing, it was saying that I was, my undertone was like warm red, which I believe it wasn't. The shade that it was telling me was 220 Dakar. I didn't really feel like that was my shade because Dakar, the shade undertone for deep dark skin, warm undertone. And I feel like I have a cool olive undertone, which is 210 Togo. So I, I just decided to order the 220 and 210, which is Togo and Dakar. This is 210 and this is 220. 220 is Dakar. I'm gonna put it on my, on my skin right here. And this is 210, Togo. You see the difference? This is red. This is red. And this is like yellow olive undertone. It gets a bit darker and this one will also dry down slightly darker too. I'm gonna go ahead and use 210 Togo as opposed to Dakar. Because Dakar, I can add an, a shade adjuster, which is a yellowish shade adjuster and it might be my perfect shade. So that's the foundation, concealer.
Yeah, by the way, I'm wearing contacts. So this is the final look. So I'm back home. We are back home actually. And pretty much just want to show you what my face looks like at the end of the day for me. And this is what it looks like after I've had it on since 12 41 and now it's 650 about six and a half hours or so with no touch up but the smile line would be like this long but I don't have any anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I will see you guys in my next video bye bye